my name is Amanda Yamaguchi, and I'm currently running for Ward 6 Councilor in Markham. 大家好，我嘅名叫杨以清，我系曼金市第六区嘅市选候选人。Um, I'm going to just like what the end is going to say that I declare myself as a no casino candidate for three main reasons. Number one, there's an illusion as that um, casino can bring a lot of economic benefits and create a lot of jobs in a city. I think it is a myth, just like any business. It can be a success and it can be a fail. Just to give you some concrete evidence, in Atlantic City, six out of 12 cas casinos closed, which is what they referred as the East Coast of Las Vegas. Recently, a $2.4 billion casino closed just after two years in business. It is not a guaranteed success. Number two is the social impact. A casino can attract a very different kind of people into a family and school oriented neighborhood. Possibilities of increasing drugs or attracting drugs, crime and prostitution into a family neighborhood. And last but not least, the possibilities of increasing Gambling addiction. Gambling, we all know that. A gambling addiction can destroy families. Last but not least, the city branding. Right now, city of Markham is being known as the high-tech city. We don't want Markham to be known as the sin city. We all know that casino money is what we call, quote unquote, sin money. And casino is really building upon the vulnerables. So for these three reasons, I declare myself as a no casino candidate. But more importantly, I still wanted to find out from a transparency perspective, some counselor still hasn't given us the answer who paid for the last survey and where did all these supports come from? wanting to build a casino here. And we've heard that um, there are certain developers that they want to build a casino here. And I wanted to know who these people are, where have they been meeting, and what have they been talking about. Those are still transparency issues as a candidate, as a market resident, I still demand those answers. Thank you.